Now, we've been looking at side triangles out of a range of different positions and scenarios. Let's look now at one of the easiest ways for us to apply a side triangle while you're passing someone's guard. In order to use this, we're going to have to link it with another one of the great systems we employ, Kimura. From a situation where I start off in front of a training partner in a seated guard situation, anytime someone's seated, they're always going to be reaching for us and we've got back exposure on the far side. Okay, you more or less guarantee that every time you're in a seated situation. So as we go in with our training partner, we start the various hand fights that uh, initiate these positions. We're going to go through and we're going to step our foot just inside our training partner's body like so. We're in the perfect position now to take everything across our training partner's body and lock up a simple Kimura attack and come around into a T Kimura position like so. My opponent is now interested in turning into me. Why? If he stays static, then I can just come up on top and pin him or go into any submission hold based on the Kimura. If he goes to turn away from us, it's physically impossible because of the Kimura. So his only option is to turn in. When I see him turning in, we always want to slow him down by lifting that elbow and then from here, I start bringing my knee underneath. I'm going to take my foot and leg over my training partner's head. As he fights to come up on top of me, we just kick through and we end up in the Yoko Senkaku position. As always from Yoko Senkaku, we look to get the best possible grip of our legs first. So we come up into a belly down shift and punch our leg through. Then when we come back, we lock up an incredibly tight figure of four and the strangle is set before the finish. Once again, you're facing this way. We start off in front of our training partner. We post, move, etc. And then from here, we step inside. Now we go through, lock, and from this position, it's an easy thing for us to go across our training partner's body and lock up. As he tries to turn into us, we always take our knee in front and elevate his elbow. My leg comes forward over my training partner's head and passes through underneath, like so. Just turn around in this direction. As always from here, I can't just lock my triangle here. You're condemning yourself to failure before you can begin. The first thing is always to put our foot on the mat and turn through, so that I turn my quadriceps down towards the floor. Now I come down onto two straightened legs. We bend one, then the other, and from here, we get a very tight strangulation indeed. Done in this fashion, we can link up the Kimura system with Yoko Senkaku. And as a result, we can apply it even as we're passing somebody's guard.